I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find limits when we have indeterminate powers. The question is find limit when x approaches 0 from the right side for cos x to the power of 1 over x square. Now if I substitute 0 what do I get? We get cos of 0 to the power of 1 over 0 right so 1 over 0 is infinity and cos of 0 is 1 so we get 1 to the power of infinity that is the case of indeterminate powers now to solve such limits we have to take natural log ln on both sides and that is how we could solve this kind of equation so let's redefine our function as y equals to uh, cos of x to the power of 1 over x square. Now, if I take natural log on both sides, I get ln y equals to 1 over x square ln cos x, right? So, so that is how we solve such question. Now, if you see the right side, if I substitute 0, right, in that case, ln 1 is an 0 over 0 form, right? ln 1 is 0 and x is 0. So it's 0 over 0. So if I have to find the limit, we can say limit x approaches 0 plus. Limit x approaches 0 from the right side. We could write this as ln cos of x divided by x square, right? Now here you can see if I substitute 0, I get what? I get ln cos 0 divided by 0 square. Cos 0 is 1, so we get ln 1 over 0. And ln 1 is 0, so we get 0 over 0. Since we get 0 over 0, we can apply the Lee Hospital's rule, right? So, so the limit of, uh, I should have written ln y. I forgot to write that. So ln y is equals to, so we'll write limit x approaches from 0 plus right side ln y equals to limit x approaches 0 from positive side. Now derivative of ln cos x is 1 over cos x times derivative of cos x which is minus sin x divided by derivative of x square is 2x. So what we get here is minus tan x divided by 2x, right? So let me rewrite this as limit x approaches 0 from the right side of minus tan x divided by 2x. Now at this stage, if I substitute 0, then again, what do I get? I get 0 over 0, right? So tan 0 is 0 and 2 times 0 is 0. So again, we can apply the Lee Hospital's rule. So that is to say that we can have derivative of both numerator and denominator, right? So we get limit x approaches 0 plus for ln y equals to limit x approaches 0. Tan x derivative is sine square x. We get minus sine square x secant square x, I'm sorry, uh, minus secant square x divided by 2. Now, secant square x. If I substitute 0 now, what do I get? I get 1. So here I get minus 1 over 2. So what we get here is that the limit of ln y as x approaches 0 from the right side is minus half, right? So what is the limit for y? It is e to the power of minus half. So we can, from here, we can write limit x approaches 0 from the right side for y is e to the power of minus half. Now y is your function, which we defined here. So this implies, let me write down here now, limit of x approaching 0 from the right side for cos x to the power of 1 over x square is equal to minus half, right? So that is how you can find the limit for such questions. 
I hope the steps are clear. At every stage, whenever you are applying the rule, you have to check whether you have indeterminate form or not. And then you apply the rule and continue. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.